Good morning, everybody. Fellowship of the Clouds. Welcome to the channel, Great Cloudy Day. And this, uh, I'm Great Cloud. Sage of the Eternal Moment. That moment there. The only moment we've got. It's a beautiful morning. Could you hit the like button for me and think about subscribing? It ain't gonna hurt nothing if you like what I'm doing. Boy, uh, yeah, I ain't been up long. Got a doctor's appointment this morning. He's gonna look at my back. Hopefully, we talk about getting this hernia taken care of. gonna read from uh 50 things that don't really 50 things that do that really matter there 50 things that really matter and uh contentment number 27 while working as a peace corps volunteer in the ukraine i decided to take a trip to budapest hungary Traveling in the part of the world, traveling in that part of the world wasn't easy then. The old Soviet bureaucracy was still in place and the mass transit system dated to a different age. In fact, just to buy a train ticket to Budapest, I was told I had to go to Stree, a small town four hours by train from the town in which I was living. Undaunted, I left for Stree early one January morning. After a lengthy trip, I headed immediately to the ticket window. There, I asked the clerk for a ticket to Budapest and quickly learned that I had been misinformed. Tickets to Budapest weren't sold in street. Whoa. The entire trip had been a waste. On top of that, I had to spend the entire day in the tiny, in this tiny frozen town before I could catch the train back home. Oh, I imagine that. Oh, oh, gosh. Just imagine that. By the time I boarded the return train, I was feeling hungry, exhausted, and angry that I had made such a long trip for nothing. But as I calmed down, I began to notice the, hap the many happy people around me. Most of them were village farmers. I could tell by their rough hands and clothes. Chances are they had never met before and would never see each other again. Yet they were chatting pleasantly with each other, seemingly unperturbed by the cold weather, the problems of train travel, and any of the other things that had been occupying me. For the length of the journey, they were like old friends happy to pass time together. As I watched these people, it occurred to me that here was the perfect definition of contentment. Most of us think contentment means having everything we wish for. But as these farmers proved, contentment really lies in finding the little happiness in whatever life throws your way. I sat back in a contentment of my own, realizing that a trip to Stree hadn't been a waste of time after all. Yeah, I always look for the diamond in the rough, guys. I always find that little piece of a gem that's still in your day, no matter how bad the day might have been going. There's a piece of, there's a little gem there. Or there's some kind of little shiny stone you just missed, even on a bad day. I'll tell you what, the first stone that you miss, if you're having a bad day all day, go back to the beginning of the day. Did you sleep at all? Even if you didn't sleep, you're still awake, right? Okay. Well, if you did sleep even an hour or two or three or four and you woke up at that moment, well, that was the first shiny little gem. I don't know if it might have been a diamond. Might have been, could have been a gold nugget. More than likely, it might have been an amethyst or uh, something more common. But it was shiny. 
and it was yours. Remember that. When we're blessed with another day, that's the first, that's the gem in itself. That's the only gem. That's the most magnificent gem you could find in all of the day. The first one, waking up. That's what I'm doing right now. I wish I could tell you that I'd feel this way all the time and that I'm every video you're going to see me this bright and shiny, but you know, sometimes you will and sometimes you might not. Y'all know, if you watch me long enough, you'll see when things are a little out of line and usually that's because of my own doing. For me, I'll find, you'll find in life, for me, and I'll speak from my, my experience only, and I've said this over and over, every time I'm out of sync, it's because I got out of sync spiritually first. Spiritually first. The next thing that goes is usually my mental starts slagging, the physical starts coming after that. Everything shuts, goes downhill. Uh, in the... If that happens very long, at some point I catch a moment of clarity and, and am able to see it quick and reverse what it's been doing, what's been not being done, you know, like get back to it. The more I do that, the easier. And each time I'm able to stay on the track a lot further down before I may have to readjust again. Uh, I think that would be the same with any human being we are just spirit manifesting flesh so we still are working with certain conditions that we agreed to come here and be in but it doesn't mean it's impossible five agreements are good you know uh be impeccable with your word number one don't take anything personally number two number three now don't make assumptions. We know what assumptions do, right? Four, always do your best. Remember your best changes from day to day, moment to moment. If you weren't sick yesterday, I'm sure your best was better. If you're not feeling too good today and you're sick, I don't mean depressed, I mean sick. Then your best is still not going to be as good as it was yesterday. You can only do your best on what day you're in. Give that day the best you can, depending on how you're feeling. But give your best, nonetheless. And number five, be skeptical, but learn to listen. Always learn to listen. Even if you know what is being said, it's probably bullshit. It's okay to listen to it. You got a brain, you can decipher it. Sometimes we lit, we sometimes we have to realize sometimes it ain't worth our effort to come against something that we are you can obviously see someone knows in their head or if someone's saying to you something that they truly believe then they, you might as well just let them believe it cuz they're living their dream and they even as ignorant as it may be that's that, that you can't at, at a certain level you can't get in that, it ain't your job to Try to correct that. I'm, I'm trying to learn that too, you know. Anyway, I got to get a ride, get off here. There'll be a ride coming here in about 35 minutes. Get my shirt on. And get my shoes on, all that kind of stuff. Y'all have a good day. God bless you. Great cloud says at the eternal moment. Over and out. Ditto. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-